Who do you got for your Golden Spikes award? You lead off. I got lead off last time. You lead off. Just All right. Because I'll lead off. It's pretty obvious here. It's pretty yeah. obvious here. Both of us are going to pick Charlie Condon, right? Correct. End of story. No questions about it, right? So we're going to pick, use the caveat here of who would be your Golden Spikes Award winner had it not been Charlie Condon. So my choice, Travis Bazana. Travis Bazana came into this year. He was highly regarded coming into this year, no doubt about it. Um, had a great season in the Cape, and a lot of people were excited about what he was able to do. Travis Bazana spent all off season at driveline working on his bat speed, and he showed up, and he has 19 home runs this spring. And again, in college baseball, where Charlie Condon has 26, Brady Montgomery has 22, Jack Caglianone has 23, you might be like 19. That's just kind of standard. This is a guy who had 17 coming into the year in a career. He had 11 last year. On top of that, he's hitting 439. He only has 16 strikeouts with 47 walks, Dan. 47 walks. I mean, he's just as dynamic as they come. And Condon's going to make, they're both going to make a lot of money. Condon's probably going to be penciled in at one, but I think Bazana might be the guys that pro organizations might be more desirable. And because of what he's shown this year, being arguably the best player in, and if he wasn't on the West Coast timeline, we'd probably talk about him a lot more. Yeah, he's unbelievable. I mean, and he's been kind of unbelievable since the start of the season. And it's leadoff bombs. It's setting the tone for them. It's just so good. And I had him kind of as, you know, one of the three names outside of Condon that I had written down. I'm glad you went with him because he deserves the love and he deserves the attention. And like you said, the fact he's on the West Coast, he doesn't get as much attention as he does. You know, you see a ton of highlights of his just terrible press box camera angles. You don't even get good (laughs) center field cam of his swings. Everyone, we're going to get that here in a couple weeks when we get to regionals, um, which I can't wait for. um, Because just being able to see him more at non-ridiculous times from ridiculous camera angles um, will be a lot more fun. And and he could go 1-1, like you said. So uh, he's a good one. This was tough for me. Um, I figured you were going to go Bazana here. Look, Jack Haglianone is unbelievable, but I'm not picking him. I'm a bi- I'm biased. I'm a pitching guy. Everyone knows it. I'm going with Hagen Smith. Okay, Arkansas doesn't have the offense this year. They're led by their pitchers, and their pitchers are led by the dude who punches out the world. I'm talking about 83 mm-hmm. Ks in 41 innings, a sub two ERA. He doesn't. He only has 14 walks in those 41 innings. He's absolutely disgusting. He's my number one pitcher off the board. If I was into doing draft stuff, which I'm not, that's your job on this podcast. So hopefully you have him as a number one pitcher off the board as, as well. It's from the left side. It's disgusting. There's a million comps that you could make for him. I see you doing it in your head, whether he would be your number one pitcher off the board, whatever. That's fine. He's mine. It's it's from the left side. It's like it's Carlos Rodon. It's Blake Snell. It's Randy Johnson. It's whoever you want to comp it to. If he can throw the secondary stuff for strikes – consistently he's going to be a big ligger in a hurry because the fastball is 98 when he gets it inside and he can land the slider it's a nightmare for righties it's a nightmare for lefties the attitude he he pitches with i think he is truly the leader of that staff he's the reason that to me i'm still so comfortable with arkansas moving forward throughout the year even though they don't have the offensive firepower that we see in today's college game like it's kind of crazy to think about we're t- in my mind, like I'm so confident in a team that doesn't have that because the college game has come become so much about power and gaudy offensive statistics. And here's Arkansas, who kind of has middle of the road numbers for today's game, and it's led by this dude. And it, it's just unbelievable what he's been able to do. You know, it's tough for pitchers to win the Golden Spikes because they don't. They, you know, you only pitch once a week. I understand that, but this is a podcast, and I'm allowed to give it to whoever I want. Yeah, 100%. I'm I'm not going to sit here and disagree with you. You said we have biases and we all have biases. Your lefty bias is showing up right there. Um so that's that's the that's the only thing I'll say uh with that. 